Welcome, welcome to the Divine Fool. Um, welcome along, fellow fools, no matter where you're at on your journey, no matter what your journey is. Some of us, it's spiritual, self-love, work, career, new day, new me. We're going to let the cards pick. Sagittarius. Okay, I have something I want to share first. I'm sorry. Um, synchronicities, guys. I had the absolute best um, synchronicity yesterday on my other channel. You guys know I'm always plugging it, the Midwest Thistle. Um, it supports my boutique I'm trying to get open back up again. Um, it's been a really long road. But I had 74 subscribers 74 watch hours and 7.4 short video views 7.4 K. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I looked up angel number 74. I didn't even know if they had off numbers. They do. And it reads, trust your intuition and use it for guidance on our path. It is a sign that we are that the divine realm from the divine realm that we are being watched and supported, even when it may seem like there's no one around. It's also a message of encouragement that reminds us to keep striving for the right thing. That absolutely blew my mind. Um, and also, I left a, a, I've been leaving comments lately on like my two biggest mentor of tarot readers, which is um, Miss Machise and Minnow Pontero. So I heard, um, like Miss Machise commented back on my, one of my, um, comments today or yesterday about the, you know, the changes to our channel. And I was telling her about this channel and she was like, Hey, come back and, and comment under that name so that I can check out your channel and support your channel. And so you guys know how it is like when we follow a tarot reader and um and or anyone anyone that you follow and when they see your comment like how exciting that is because I'm so not a celebrity chaser I I don't follow of course I love music I don't follow any bands I don't I don't idol worship anyone basically um you know of course I I you know we all have our favorites, but I'm just not like a celebrity follower. So to have, and I know we're all just people, but when it's like, you know, when an everybody's man or woman, um, like finds your comment and hearts it or comments back, like that's, that's so exciting for me. So anywho, Sagittarius, this is your spring forward or fall back reading. Ceremony. I'm going to start with that. Okay. Oh, the lovers. Sagittarius. Two of cups. Three of flowering plants. That's three of wands. Page of succulents. Page of cups. Ace of potted trees, which is the ace of pentacles. Seven of flowering plants, that's seven of wands. Um, is this the nine? Nine of cacti, nine of swords, okay. Ooh, followed by the, um, the queen of swords, queen of cacti. And two of pot of trees, two of pentacles, okay. Sagittarius. I think this is great. So you've got the lovers, which is obviously could be love. It could be an important decision. It could just be things coming together, but moving into the two of cups. So again, whether it's love or not, um, it's obviously two things coming together and then following that up by the three of flowering plants, the three of wands. Um, that's, that's your off to a fabulous start, whatever you already been working on, it seems like. Um, and then to go into the page of cups, 
the Ace of Pentacles. That's like, maybe this was mental. This could be something that you've been mentally working on, maybe, and it hasn't come into fruition yet. Um, it could be a job you've applied for. It could be a step that you're wanting to take. Again, we're all on our different fool's journey here. Um, but the Ace of Pentacles is like, that's, that's it being delivered. Um, you know, the Seven of Wands... flowering plant competition today <laughs> okay I was gonna say I, I had my dumb moment of like I was like getting the seven and the nine confused on the wands there but yeah that's like battling for position it's putting in the good fight right um competing maybe you've been competing for a position um you know this even could be oddly like I know we don't have the devil out here um, but this could be like com competing internally. This could be com you competing with your thoughts if you're just, um, you know, if you're just having your idea or whatever, like delivered as that ace of pentacles. Um, also with a job, you know, could be competing with others. If it's lovers, um, we all know how freaking competitive that can be. Um, with the nine of, nine of swords, I, you know, that it could be you worried, it could be you, you know, the fear of not getting whatever you're basically desiring, or it could be fear from things that have gone on in the past, you know, if it was, if it, if this is a relationship for you, um, if this is a relationship for you, it could be fear of the past repeating itself. I mean, same thing with a job. If your last job didn't work out, um, oh my God, I've moved across the state for a job and the job ended in two weeks. Um, not by my fault. And I literally like ended up paying more for daycare than I made. And not to mention, we all know how expensive moving is and uprooting your entire life. So <sighs> that was one hell of a backstab guys. Um, moving back into you and the queen of cactus. So I feel like overall that's, that's positive. You're going from that to that. Um, and moving into balance, the two of, of potted trees. So whatever has you in your, your, uh, 10 of cactus there, it's, it's like not to worry. I mean, that's like you literally your only negative besides whatever competition you've had to go through, but overall, yeah, that's a uh, pretty positive. Um, I see regeneration just popped out for us passion. So you could be moving into a passion project. Um, you know, if you're on the spiritual self-growth journey you're also oh hope oh, you're also um I like the yellow on the yellow by the way there um you know you could just be following your new passions again if it's love it could be very passionate and we've got positivity so hope and positivity so Let's see what the ceremony card means. I am new to this deck, so I do not know. <clears throat> and this is the Awake Your Inner Wisdom deck. Ooh, instead of the daily grind, choose a daily ceremony. Take time for ceremony. Doing something physical like a ritual can program the mind to activate a new thought pattern and break free from the dull drums of tasks. Mindful motions and thoughts are brought about noticing emotions bubbling up through the body. Instead of rushing through daily activities, take a moment to slow down and cherish the events of the day. Slip out of the routine and into ceremony what is the new experience you can create today? 
so I will say like within um, the Leo reading I just did, um, I'm a lot calmer for your reading. I let the cards pick and I'm a Leo. And so like when Leo came up first, we got the fool and the magician, like it was an awesome reading for me. So, um, anywho, but with ceremony ritual also came up. And so one thing I do say about ritual is it, you know, it doesn't have to be a candle lighting ritual. Um, like sure. I, I love candles. I light a lot of candles, but I'm not a practicing, um, person who does rituals. And so I always like to say to everyone who, who gets a ceremony or a ritual card, um, your daily ritual doesn't have to be like a ritual, you know, so it can be, um, anything that you're moving into your daily life. Like if, if you're looking for love, a good ceremony for, for you would be like doing some self care. Um, you know, taking a minute to be the best you, you can be, whether that's, trimming your beard or trimming your toenails or doing a foot mask or like whatever makes you feel good. You know, it doesn't always have to be like outside physical appearance wise. Um, you know, organizing your life, uh, drinking more water, cutting out, you know, toxicity, um, taking a step towards your new hobby. I mean, I think whatever you want to learn about, we all have different things that we're like, oh, I've always wanted to learn that, or I've always wanted to be, to do that or try that. And I always say on my other channel, like my craft DIY growing food channel, um, don't give up at something you like because you're not the master of it. Like I love macrame, but you know what? There's, um, I don't know how many other macrame channels that are like 10 times better than me. Is that going to stop me from doing macrame? Uh, no, because I love it. And I learn something new every week, you know? Um, and I, I show trial and error on that again. Like, don't give up or not do something you want to do because you can't be professional at it. You're supposed to do it. That's why they're hobbies. You you do them because you love them. That's why, why I read tarot. Um I love tarot and again, long time empath, new to tarot. So, you know, bear with me guys. Um, it's a lot to learn, but I absolutely love it. You know, I don't have to be the best tarot reader on the planet. I do it because I love it. And eventually we'll, we'll find our, um, oddball, like fool soul tribe. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to resonate with everyone. Like I'm not for everyone and you shouldn't be either. Um, anyway, Sagittarius, sorry, enough about me. Um, whatever the lovers is to you, it, it, it looks good and you've got balance. I would just say overall, this was a good reading. So I'm going to leave it. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I will probably see you guys this weekend in a live. I did get a actual love deck, so I will put out actual love readings, um, in the next week. I think we're overdue for a career finance reading and, um, we're just going to keep, um, plugging along, I guess, as I feel the need to do readings. Um, if you haven't checked out your life path number reading yet, uh, feel free to do that. They were super fun. So, um, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I'm going to leave it at that guys. I will see you in the next one and thank you for joining us.